Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to talk about the error that you might encounter while enabling the recovery environment and the error says that Windows RE cannot be enabled on a volume with BitLocker drive encryption enabled. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, this is my PC where I have BitLocker drive encryption enabled. If I go to my PC and this PC and you can see that this drive has been BitLocker enabled. So if I try to enable a recovery environment, I might get an error. So uh, before trying to create a recovery environment, I'll just show you the status of my disk management. So if I right click the start button and go on to disk management. And here you can see that I have just 50 megs of system reserve partition that is active partition and then I have the boot partition. So if I try to enable the recovery environment going on to start button and type in cmd and run as administrator and i type in reagency space forward slash enable and then it gives me the same error as i mentioned in the beginning windows re cannot be enabled on a volume with bitlocker drive encryption enabled so for this thing what you need to do is i need to have at least 600 megabytes of partition created on the on the same disk so if you want to see the details you can find the details about this error on c drive windows logs and there will be reagent folder and within there you'll find reagent and this document shows you the details about how it was discovering the partition that should be used as recovery agent so here it shows you that it was performing different types of searches and it didn't find any partition that could be used for recovery agent so your uh, the first partition was not big enough and second partition was bitlocker enabled so what i'll be doing is i'll be shrinking this partition shrink volume and I'll be giving one gig. It should be at least 600 megabytes. Okay, so I'll give it 1024 and create a new volume. Next, 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 finish. And this volume we will be using for recovery environment. So if I just try to simply say, again, reagent enable, and then again, you get the same error because this partition that I have created, it should have a particular ID, uh, MBR partition ID to be used as a recovery environment. So we have to use disk management. Uh, sorry, uh, we have to use disk part and I have to select disk zero. And if I do list partition, here you can see the list of partition, the last one partition three we have to use. So select partition three. And if I see the detail of the partition, I can see that this ID is seven. So I can say set ID equals 27. And now if I try to enable the recovery environment, okay, so it enabled successfully. So now if I do reagent C slash info, and you can see that it is using my partition three on disk zero as the recovery environment. So hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.